her, okay? I don't even know why you're like asking me this, you creep. Mila's like my best friend since like high school. Everybody loves her. Fine. Yeah, was my best friend. I get it. You passed seventh grade English. Doesn't explain why you're questioning me, though. It's like really insensitive of you, actually. My best friend just died, you know. Okay. Let's get this over with, shall we? Christine Little, 19 years old. Super pleased to meet you. What else is there to even say? Um, Mila and I both attended St. Peter's Prep, and then she, like, went to college or whatever, and I was going to go, but... I'm like a model now. Um, kind of weird that you don't know that. Everybody knows me. Us. Mila's the prom queen who went on to blow 100 can art school and I'm the runner up turned sign model. Okay, I'm not getting sidetracked. I'm giving context. God, it's so rude to interrupt. What kind of police officer are you? Anyway, Mila and I were close for like ever, but then she moved to the other side of the island and we kind of grew apart. This bummed her out quite a bit, I guess. But I was very mature about the whole thing and even suggested we start having weekly lunches for old time's sake. Chris, honey, I need you to be honest with me. She was always asking for my advice. Did these earrings make me look fat? Which, of course, I was happy to oblige her with. Yes, I knew it. Not reading Sheen reviews really will be the death of me. Maybe they'll fit you though. You know, I believe I'm more honest than the average person. So, um, I hear you're planning a party tonight in Central Park. Hmm? It was that morning Mila told me she wanted to have a surprise Halloween party. Who told you that? Just someone from school. Since when are you still friends with people from St. Peter? She invited me, of course. Well, either way, you heard wrong. No party. I think I'll just stay in tonight, call my boyfriend over or something. Oh yeah, guess what? No more weird roommate. Finally wrote her off the lease, poor thing. But that means no more EDM related noise complaints from our neighbors. Best of all, no dolls falling onto my bed from the top shelf at 3 a.m. And yes, did I mention that she in fact collects creepy ass porcelain dolls? Chris, are you even listening? The word got out pretty quickly after that. Sure, I'm listening. Okay, good. It's really rude not to listen when someone's speaking, you know? Anyway, guess I'm in the market for a new roomie. I was gonna ask Jody, but <laughs> wait till you hear the shit she tried to pull in our photography class. She really thought she could. Well, anyway, I've already scheduled a meeting with the Dean on Monday, so no more Jody after that, I guess. But basically she... Hey, girl! When did you get out of rehab? I'll be back in a minute, watch my stuff, okay? It went from just a little idea she had over breakfast to the biggest party of the night. Everyone was going. All her friends from school, her new college friends, and whatever weirdo stumbled upon the scene with a chip on their shoulder. I suppose you consider your list of suspects confidential information, right? Well, believe me when I tell you the wrong crowd showed up to the party that night. And Mila got mixed into that crowd. Can I blame the poor girl, though? She liked everyone, and everyone loves her. Loved. And the rest, I, I guess you know. Um, got dressed, took a taxi there at eight, partied for a few hours, and left early when they started bringing out the hard drinks. I don't really do that stuff. You know, I'm a model, it doesn't fit my schedule. But she was drinking that night, in case you want to write that down in your little notepad. That day, though, until that terrible moment at the party, she was with me. There is one thing you don't know though. You see, Mila was planning more than just a party that night. She had some kind of announcement to make. Of course, I have no idea what it could possibly be. And you know, she never, she never had the chance. Now, now she can never. I'm sorry, it's just, it's just so emotional for me to talk about and this wound is like so fresh and I just can't. You wrote down my alibi already, right? Great. Thank you so much, officer.